Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own version of the fabulous NKD Protogen avatar. We will start off by setting up our project, and then we will customize the textures on our avatar. Next, we will prepare our avatar for being uploaded, and then finally upload it to VRChat. Let's first download the avatar we will be retexturing. The NKD Protogen is available on Gumroad. Link is in the description. Extract the file after it is downloaded. Also, this model uses the ZZ shader. You can download it here. Also make sure that you have the VRC Creator Companion installed. It can be found in the download area when you are logged into the VRChat website. Now, in the Creator Companion, let's create a new project. Make it a Unity 2022 avatar project. Give it a funky name. Click Create Project and then wait a moment. And then hit Open Project. And then wait a few minutes as Unity creates our project. Once our project is ready, let's import the ZZ shader in Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Then import the Protogen model the same way. From the NKD Protogen folder, drag the model onto the scene. Right click it and go to Prefab, unpack Prefab completely. We are now ready to give this boring guy a makeover. Open your favorite image editor. I'm going to be using GIMP since it's free. Go to where you extracted your files and open the prototextureemissions.png and prototexture.png. Then, in prototexture, open the prototextureuvlayout.png as a new layer. Let's start off by trying to make a doodle on a separate layer. Export this to where the texture is located in your project, which is not the same as where you opened it from. We see that our doodle now appears on our protogen in Unity. Notice the lines from the UV map layer we put on there. This is helpful for knowing what part of the texture in GIMP matches with the part in Unity. To get rid of the lines, you can always export with the UV layer disabled. Here's a time lapse of me coloring the various pieces of armor. With our fur and armor done, let's set up shaders to see how it looks. In the material folder, set all four of the materials to the ZZ shader. Then click your model's body, open the materials dropdown, and replace those materials with the materials we just updated. This looks much better. Let's now add our side screen design. In GIMP, cover the old design up with a new layer, and then add your own design on a new layer using the UV map layer to correctly align it within each of the circles. Now we need to update the emissions file to make the screens glow only where the logo is. Select the layer of your design and make sure it's the size of the image. Copy it from here and paste it over to Proto Texture Emission. Cover up the old design and turn your new design white. Finally, export this over to the Proto Texture Emission file in our project. Let's prepare our avatar for upload. First, scale it to the size you want. Then edit the view position and put it right between the avatar's eyes. Then hit Customize Playable Layers. This avatar comes with pre-made options we can drag into Gestures, Action, and FX. Hit Customize Expressions. The avatar comes with a pre-made menu and parameters you can also drag in as well. Hit Auto Detect under Lip Sync to turn on mouth movements. We can now upload our avatar. Go to VRChat SDK, open the control panel, and log in. You have options here to change the avatar's name, description, and profile image. Now you can either hit Build and Test to test your avatar, or upload it if you're ready. When you open VRChat, testing avatars appear under Other, and other players cannot see them. Once you've hit Upload, you're done, but there's a couple more things you can do to optimize your avatar. Under your model, hit Armature, and then open the Blend Shapes dropdown. There are a number of sliders you can play with to your liking. Also, notice how your ears and tail aren't moving? You can add a fizz bone to each of these to make them move. I like to add a collider to them to let others interact, and add an angle constraint as well. Your Protogen avatar is now finished. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to check out the description for more information and links. And if you thought this video was helpful, please leave a comment and subscribe, because if this video does really well, I'll know to make more of this type of content in the future. Thank you guys.